Big video. So I'm in AUM and I'm messing around with uh, the radio. Right, let me get out of resample mode and go to the inputs. I think you can hear it. So I'm just on the jazz channel as I typically hang out. I got Plus on, I got iHeart uh, New York 2. I got iOS, I mean iOS, I got EOS uh, 2. I got uh, the one I can never pronounce, Rim, Rim de Gere, which is kind of a twisted thing I like for some reason. And I got the um, filter, which I use occasionally. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off so you can hear. So what I'm doing is I'm taking random samples you typically, in my mind, you have to do it off the same song. Really, you don't, but I wanted to get it the same song. So what I'm doing is I'm just going through one for a second, right? One, two, three, four. Then I'm going in and I'm taking each one of these samples and making it a one shot. Then I'm taking the attack, bringing it up a little bit. The release, the tone. Just mess with it till you get it where you like it, something from it. This one I pitched down uh, back three semitones. Not even worried about what it is as far as like key and don't even care, right? Got me a couple of little drum samples. I'm doing a slow thing, so I did it at like 67. Then check this out. So I started messing around with this one first. Found a note on the keyboard I like. Came up with that. You can also hear this one. So I use this one as an accent, kind of like a lead accent. I don't know how you want to call that. Second lead to and just rhythmically, just focused on the rhythm portion of it, right? There's a sequence right here. You see how that is? It's nothing spectacular, but it is what it is. Simple drumming. I did all the drumming in one take on just, right? These are like uh, vinyl sample drums. So they sound, have that little extra crackle in them. Then I was like, all right, I'm going to try to make this. Uh, I couldn't find a sound I liked with that. So I said, well, maybe I can make it a bass. So one of the cool things I like is you can do resample and use the effects. That's cool because that's a bass synth right out the gate. So or more bass if you want to do that. So I thought, OK, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sample it with a little reverb, so I, a little reverb. And by the way, I think if you hold it, let me see, if you hold it down, yeah, you can control how much reverb goes, goes in there. So I'm gonna take the effects off for right now so you can hear it, all right. So I put this together and then I, want, then I did the bass synth. I know that don't even sound right, but check this out. All right, resample, effects, right? Now I'll take that off, put it back in there. And then I pitched it six des six um, semitones down. It's clicking a little bit. I'll fix that. Let me show you before I uh, crop it. You got to get it on zero crossing. So to do that, you want to find... That should be pretty close. Uh-oh. My hand is so big. I knocked it. Okay. So find that zero crossing point. Why am I getting a call right now? Okay, so that's not it. It's not popping there because that is the zero crossing point. Let's go ahead and crop this down. As soon as I one shot, remove that little click at the beginning. I'm sitting on this SP and it's kind of, hopefully it didn't change the, okay, you can still see it. So if you don't like that little part there, so you could do that. And then of course I'm playing it here, so. Or piano hit there.
whatever you want to do, right? All right, so let's record that. Simple. Make sure it records here if you're going to record it in the here. If you want that count in, I think I showed you before, turn on the metronome and then go pre-roll one bar, right? And boom, hit the X off. One, two, two, three, four, and then play. like it keep it if you don't turn the record off hit clear and touch that pad and you can remove it it's okay it's not I, I probably will go somewhere and and like since you're in AUM you can always come back and then like do the adjustments per pad if you wanted to for instance if you wanted to add another let's say audio track here you could go here touch here and go to um uh what is it multi out click there right set this one on a different channel so let's go channel we'll do channel five whatever so it's on five you can't hear it but on here if i put the output to channel five now you should be able to hear it when i play it there you go now you can hear it again so it's coming out this one. This What this does is allows me to be able to mix it. So let's say, let's say I want to use that grand finale on there, right? I'm just giving you an example. There's the bass by, excuse me, bass cut through the mix. We'll do that. So now when you play it, And I didn't do this before, but if you don't play this through some real speakers, it can sound like on the iPad, it sounds good. So you got to check that, put some headphones in, something, at least use, uh, what is it that I always use? Like this. I don't have my speakers hooked up, but at least put you one of these in there, right? With, with a headphone on the end of it or something and listen to your mix. Okay, just showing you some cool stuff. I'm just tinkering around, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, so I will save this just in case. Always save in two spots. Uh, I'm gonna call it Tinker. That, that sounds stupid. I'm just gonna call it uh, um, YT example or something, YouTube example, whatever. And then here, you gotta make sure you save as in here. And make sure you name it the same thing so you don't get confused. I personally like to put the BPM on there usually, but I didn't do it for whatever reason just now on there, so I'm not gonna stress it. Go to Koala, go to Songs, and then save it, and then put Move in there, and it'll save it in there. So now you'll have it in both locations. All right, that's it for this video. It was supposed to be a quick one, and it is. We're under 10 minutes, which is good. And just wanted to show you that a lot you could do with uh, just the iPad, right?